Channel 6 had a little bit of a break, but we are back and we're doing different things. And yes. today we're going to be talking about our guilty pleasures. Yes. Well, what what is one of your guilty pleasures? Well, my big guilty pleasure is from 1983. It is a sequel to a 1977 movie. And while well, that 77 movie did amazing, this one has 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. And what's the name of the movie? It's Staying Alive with John Travolta. It is quintessential 80s. It's directed by Sylvester Stallone. It's got a Bob Mackie outfits. It's got everything wrong with, with musicals. So, like, if you love um, Showgirls, you're kind of secretly going to love... So, <laughs> it's the Showgirls of the 80s, you yes. would say. Okay. Even some of the dance moves feel really reminiscent of each other. I was on this movie first before I saw Saturday Night Fever, which mm. is the original movie. Um, and I didn't know the connection to it. And... I just saw it as its own standalone film. I mean, it, mm. I didn't realize really it was a sequel. And then I saw the original, Saturday Night Fever, and I actually don't like that one <gasps> at oh, all. Ooh. I hate, I mean, John Travolta's character, um, Tony, is not great in Stay Alive either, but he's even worse in the original. Mm. And he's, just, the whole movie is really a downer, but then you go to Staying Alive, and it's, it's like center stage, and showgirls and everything that's so cheesy and fun about a mm. dance movie all roll into this one mess and every song besides the Gees songs are amazing they yeah. are beautiful 80s classic song by frank stallone mm. sylvester stallone's brother yeah. and better actor i love the soundtrack it's the best like working out music oh oh god yeah it, yeah. it totally inspires you to get up off of your butt and they do these dance moves in the main title sets so really ridiculous there. oh yeah and mm. Just these silly, ridiculous moves. But I gotta say, John Travolta, sorry, baby, mm. he was really good looking in that mm, movie. Mm, he was mm. fit. He was so in shape for this movie, and they they knew he was. So they put him like this like little loin cloth at the very end. Mm -hmm. really, nothing's being held to the imagination. Yeah. But it's an awesome, awesome movie with just so much fun. It it stars his his character Tony. Um, Going from being a disco dancer to wanting to be a Broadway dancer. Apparently mm. back in the 80s and 90s, there was a lot of Broadway plays and shows that were just dancing. Mm. No real story. If there was, it was more metaphorical rather than a story story. And it's about his struggle trying to get onto that Broadway stage. Wow. Sounds dramatic. It is. Mm. So much so much stress and conflict and love mm. triangles. And oh, I love it. Sounds like a great movie, it, though. It is. I mean, yeah. it's not perfect. Like I said, his character isn't perfect, but it's got great dancing, great music. Mm. Yeah, some of the the tropes are a little cliche, you mm. know. Oh, this person's being with this person, but this other person loves him. But yeah. all in all, it is a truly fun, mm. energetic dance movie that I really adore. Well, I finally got to see it with you. And <laughs> I, it, I actually really enjoyed it. I was expecting it to think it was the worst thing in the world. I mean, I've seen. Most people apparently do. I've seen clips of it in the past. I'm like, wow, this looks terrible. And I'm watching. I'm like, okay, this is terrible, but very entertaining. Yeah. You know, it's the perfect guilty pleasure, I would say. It is for me. But yeah, I mean, would you say? I mean, would you say this is a good sequel to? Sorry, are you think it, it should just be like people I, should I watch it? I see it's a own standalone film. You it's don't need to see Staying Alive. I mean. There's a, a, you don't need to see Staying Alive. Just oh, you don't need to see Staying Alive. You, you need to see. You, you need, need to see, see Staying Alive. alive. Don't need to see Saturday Night Fever, see, I, I which is fighting words, you know. That's for that's a Academy Award nominated film, mind you. Yeah. But yes. But that's Michael Tipton, and honestly, like I said, I saw Staying Alive first, and while there's a conversation mm. between he and his mom about how he was in the past, I didn't. You don't need to see that beginning to right. be like, oh, he was a jerk because he's kind of right. a jerk in this movie too. And there's slight nods and and um, fan service, fan service. Mm. Um, for Saturday Night Fever, but mm. it's only like a few things that mm. you, if you don't notice it, it doesn't change the story. Right. So he, he wears the white suit from the first one. He mm. walks by the disco mm. at one point, and I mean, it was just during a montage. Oh, he struts. Yeah. Of course, he struts. It's it's Saturday Night Fever. Yeah. But um, but other than that, those those like three things I caught. You don't need to see the original. Mm. Just watch this one. If you love dance movies, if you love classic eighties. You know, eighty cheese. Yes, you know, get that blue and purple eyeshadow on, frizz up your hair, yeah. Start wearing your sweatbands and just love this movie because yeah. it's just, it's not supposed to be serious. I mean, maybe mm. it was for Sylvester Stallone. I love it. It's just, mm. it's so much fun. It's an adventure. Yeah, I mean, it motivated when I saw it. Motivated me to want to do Broadway. I know. And, 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 You've been working out. 
But yes, I, so we'd say it's a solid sequel. I think so. I think it's a solid sequel. It expands on the story. Especially if it got 0% Rotten Tomatoes. I don't listen to that. Mm. Well, I mean, John Travolta has a lot of films that are 0% Rotten Tomatoes. It's, so. it's definitely better than Gotti, right? Oh, yeah. Better than Gotti. Which I have not <laughs> even seen, go. but if we could already say that it's better than Gotti. Yes. So. But it's just, if you, could, if you could get a chance to see it, I mm. recommend it. I recommend it as well. I surprisingly liked it. Download the music, at least Frank Stallone's music from yeah, iTunes. Yeah, soundtrack is solid. I think it's up there with the Top Gun soundtrack. Yeah. When it comes to, like, 80s. classic, like, yeah. beautiful 80s music. Yes, but speaking of John Travolta sequels, uh -huh. one of my guilty pleasures is Grease 2, which does not have John Travolta, but has Maxwell Caulfield. I think that's his name, Maxwell Caulfield, which I think, yeah. if if you're familiar, he was also in a film called Empire Records, where he played uh, Rex Manning, as you would recognize, but also stars Michelle Pfeiffer in a very early role, <laughs> pre-Scarface, which, because of the Grease 2, she got the part in Scarface. Which is funny, because if it's such a flop, and somebody recognized her talent still within a flop, yes. But, that actually speaks to her abilities. Yes, but Grease 2, yes, this was a film I did not watch for a long time. I mean, I've seen Grease. It's a good movie. It's fine. It's not it's, for kids. Not for kids. Well, whatever. It's not for <laughs> kids. But I mean, it's 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 a fine movie. It's a nice, you know, nostalgic '80s. Or no, it was the '80s, '70s, 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 '50s. Four BGs. Yeah, and all that. But um, it, it you know, it was fine. It was fine. But Grease too, however, <laughs> it, it I mean, is it better than Grease? I I hate to say, it, I think it's. The first Grease movie. I know I'm going to get a right. lot of crap for this. You're either going to have people who absolutely agree with you or absolutely disagree with you. So it's a guilty pleasure. But Grease 2 is a hoot. It is fun. It is a hoot. I have I have sentimental feelings for the first one, so that one always kind of works a little higher for me. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I didn't see Grease 2 until you. Yeah. So yeah, so, like so you know, she introduced ago. me to Staying Alive. <laughs> I just introduced you to Grease 2. Yes, you did. Yeah. And Cool Rider. Cool Rider, yes, that is it. I, I was familiar with that song before I saw Grease 2. So I would always sing Cool Rider, cool, but I never saw the whole movie. So I needed to see the whole movie. And then when I did, I was but like... But now you have a new favorite song. Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> score tonight. <laughs> Going to score tonight. We're go okay, I'll stop. But yeah, that... Oh, no. But on. there are songs in there that... I, like I could sing like what's it what else? There's a reproduction. Yeah, a lot of tongue and cheek songs. Sung this by one. Tab Hunter. <laughs> yes, as yes. Uh, polyester. Like, yeah. oh, from polyester. No, you, just, yeah, polyester. John Waters blood. I see I, I Grease Two feels like a toned down John Waters movie. It does. Not directed by John Waters. It was actually directed by the choreographer of the first Grease movie. They're like, Hey, you choreographer, you know <laughs> you did so well in this. On the first, the let's movie. give you the directing job. But it is, it is, it's like, I don't know if it's terrible. Well, I love that it only has two returning characters from the first one. One of them was a villain of sorts, and the other one was um, Frenchie, and yeah. she's graduated, I guess, now, but kind of lingering around the school for some reason, doing yeah. cosmetology things, right, right, I right. guess. But, um, yeah. Oh, and, 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 and um, Michael is Sandy's cousin. Yeah, yeah. Who also goes to the same school. So it's rather, like, ironic that her cousin now comes, goes to the same school, kind of has the reversal, like, gender reversal story of the first mm -hmm. movie. Yeah. But I have to admit, though, I love that um, that Michelle Pfeiffer's character is not willing to change yeah. for a guy. Because yeah. that was a problem with the first one, was that Sandy had to completely change, you know, like, she was willing to give up her wholesome self to mm -hmm. try to appeal to this guy who really treated her badly yeah you know that that's growing up and rewatching these movies like oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know but michelle pfeiffer's character she was following a a silly rule that they have about you know you can only date t-birds if you're a pink lady which mm. is a silly rule but but she knew she didn't want just anybody because they were a t-bird she mm. still wanted somebody which she had standards she had you know yeah, goals yeah. and and i actually really appreciate that you're, about make, you're making grease too sound very deep so deep. It's such a deep movie. <laughs> it's so deep. Oh, well, uh, there's a lot of things that are deep and double entendres. Yes. So you really uh, need to be an adult. Well, to watch what's the other song? Uh, Do, Do it, it for, for your country. country. Yes. Really creepy vibes as a girl. Sung by a guy. I, I I don't know the name of the actor. Sorry, but he looks just like Andy Samberg. <laughs> So if they ever did Grease to a remake, Andy Samberg needs to play this role. That song is terrible because he's kind of. <laughs> 
they they believe that they're being he this guy has tricked this girl into thinking that they're about to be bombs or in this mm -hmm. bomb shelter mm -hmm. and you know before they die they need mm -hmm. to do it for yeah. their country yeah. and so he's kind of like manipulating guilting her and you're like mm. oh this is being bad but that's a but the song, song but the songs are so <laughs> memorable i mean I mean, I totally forgot about the songs for the first Greeks. Okay, maybe not. There's, you know, the famous, well, like... Summer Lovin'. Yeah, and... Summer Lovin', no, but, like, Score Tonight, Reproduction... We do sing Score Tonight quite Cool Rider and Do It For Your Country are very iconic. Reproduction. I said that. Reproduction. <laughs> reproduction. It's a great... Yeah, so the soundtrack is solid. So get the Staying Alive soundtrack and get the Grease 2 soundtrack. Yeah. Yeah, and you are, you are set. Basically, all the songs that are not the Bee Gees, you are good to you go. You are good to go. But yes, I would say these are both very fun, silly films worth watching. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, they're both movies that you don't have to really think deeply into. You don't mm -hmm. have to, you know, sit up there and go, okay, if I miss a scene, then I'm going to be missing something. You no, know, it's just, they're just supposed to be fun. And, yeah. um, you know, those other movies that you have to think, those are for another time. But if you want just something just to entertain you and yeah. just make you feel good after watching it mm. these two guilty pleasures are perfect for that especially yeah. if you want to you know if you're kind of like me and i'd rather watch other people dance than me get up and actually do some work mm. then you sit back you watch other people you yeah. know doing these amazing feats or silly stunts like mm. the bowling alley with score tonight oh yeah you know, that's, and... seen, that's seen the movie oh, <laughs> it's wow. pretty memorable hmm oscar worthy oh, but wow. yeah calm down there i know <laughs> But yes, I would say they're very entertaining, very worth watching. Yes, we'll probably get people saying like, how dare you say these are better than the original. Or I didn't even know that this was a movie. Yeah. At least with my movie. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if you're not born after I, I really wish they made a production, stage production of Grease 2. I know because Grease, you know, is musical, but yes. I think Grease 2 needs to be on stage. That would be a fun twist, especially with people going back to nostalgic, nostalgia and a lot of things that our movies are being mm. made into musicals. Mm. I mean, we kind of we got Shrek the musical. We yeah. can make a Grease 2 the musical. Yes, we? we can. Sad thing about Grease 2 is that if you go, uh, Grease has all these like behind the scenes, bios and, and special features, and just everything about Grease, just the history. But Grease 2 does not have a single special feature on their DVD. Like nobody cares. Not even a like, trailer. <laughs> not even a trailer. No interviews. No, no, there might be something on YouTube. That's it though. It's like Grease 2 it has no love. It needs a little It needs a little bit of loving. It, it does need a little, little bit, bit of love Grease than what it gets. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Michelle Pfeiffer is very good in it. Oh, yeah. It's and, so strong. Yeah, she's strong, you know. And yeah, uh, It's got motorcycles in it, guys. It's motorcycles. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cheesy as hell. But very entertaining. The songs will get stuck in your head, especially Score Tonight. Yeah. That is a very catchy song. I have no guilt on that one. That is, that is, is not a guilty pleasure. That's a great song. Uh, and like with uh, Staying Alive, almost every song, besides the, B the Bee Gees songs, every song is solid. Do you have a problem with the Bee Gees? Not early Bee Gees. Oh, okay. Like Sister Sister, that's cool, but they're 70s, ah, you know, falsetto things. Mm -hmm. Not a fan, so mm -hmm. sorry. All Although right. they were fun in another guilty pleasure of mine. Mm -hmm. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Horse Club Band, but that's a whole different movie for another yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, that'll be for another time. <laughs> if we were to get comments of Bee Gees fans just being like, boo, shame. <laughs> Ooh, sure. You don't know music. Well, I know uh, that Frank Stallone rocks it. Yes, because Frank Stallone. Because 80s rock amazing. I love Frank Stallone. Like, he has a part in Staying oh Alive. Oh my god, yes. There's a scene that he doesn't sound anything like his brother. No, although, I have to say, Sylvester Stallone does make a quick cameo in the yes, movie. Yes, yes. And he is dressed in a way that I never imagined Sylvester Stallone to be dressed. So look mm -hmm. for a scene that John Fultz is walking through New York, you know, trying to get his spot into, into Broadway. And he bumps into this this man that's wearing this huge fur coat. Mm. Yeah, it looks like something that Gloria Swanson would have worn back in the 1940s and 50s. Nah. But he bumps at him and he looks and you see him turn around and there's Sylvester Stallone with like feathered hair, mm. this big fur coat, sunglasses, and oh, yeah. he looks he looks like a pimp. So that, this was this was his Alfred Hitchcock cameo yes. moment. Yes. Yeah. It definitely was. But yeah, he, he did his brother solid and he gave him the chance to do music, mm. gave him a part in the movie. Great banter between him and John Travolta, especially in one scene. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it's great. And... Oh, yeah. No, it, it was it was better than I thought it would be. I don't think it deserves the zero percent Rotten Tomatoes. I mean, I, I give it at least a four point five. Four point five. If I was to if I was to give it on our grade scale, I would give it a four point five. You give four point five? I would give uh, Grease to a solid five. Ooh. Just just for just for entertainment, a solid five. I mean, as a movie, it's like a two point <laughs> five. But as just for 
cheese factor, five on the scale. Absolutely. Uh, I'd give it a two by five, three. It makes it memorable. Man. The characters but are. They need to come out with a double, uh, you know, the John Travolta sequel. <laughs> Even though John Travolta is not in Grease 2 at all, it is a sequel to a John Travolta movie. He's barely movie. mentioned. <laughs> and he's not even mentioned. He's like, yeah, they. Well, I mean, granted. Zuko who? Well, well Zuko <laughs> and Gatan, they, I mean, they got in the car and they. When the sky, they, died? They, they yeah, they went to heaven or whatever. I don't. Yeah, that's a whole different video too. The yeah. discussion of the ending of. <laughs> There's many conspiracies about that. So their characters are gone, and then we focus on the other characters in Greece too. But it, it is might, a fun movie. It is a very fun movie. I I I I refrained from watching it for a very long time, and then finally watched it and went, no, this is very entertaining. It's so entertaining. <laughs> yeah. So yes, we recommend staying Our alive. Vision. Greece two. Get them, watch them. Get the music. Get get the soundtracks for both films immediately. You will not regret it. So.